Well, good morning or good afternoon. It's uh, lunch with Pastor Bill, and uh, it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. And so we're looking forward to uh, our worship service, both online. We've got everything uh, recorded and uploaded, should be ready to go for Sunday morning. If you'd like to watch it online at uh, 1045, but you can come and join with us for a live service out at the Midway Drive-In at uh, 1030. Uh, pray for good weather. I know that uh, supposedly there's talking about a little bit of rain here or there, so just pray that uh, that it'll be good weather, but we're going to, I think we're just planning, we're going to do it regardless. We'll hold umbrellas. We'll do something, but we want to get everybody together out at the uh, drive-in. We're going to have worship and uh, preaching from the word. And so you come and join with us on Friday. Remember, I told you that I would do some things where if you had a question, uh, I would answer that particular question or try to. And so one of the questions that came in uh, by email, and you can email me at pastorbill at fbcathens.com with any question you got, and we'll try to answer that. But one of the questions that came in was about suffering. All right, how do Christians deal with suffering? How do we get through the things of this life? And I, I think the, I'm going to answer it, but let me give you some personal study to do. Uh, read First Peter, the first epistle of Peter, because that epistle deals with suffering. He is writing to uh, the way he describes. It, if you want to, or if you can listen, or if you got a Bible nearby, but he says to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, uh, Galatia, uh, Cappadocia, Asia, and uh, Bithynia, and so in Pontus, uh, Galatia, Cappadocia. These were probably the cities where uh, this letter was being distributed. Uh, Silvanus was most probably kind of the secretary who wrote these things down as Simon Peter dictated them. And then Silvanus was the one who distributed the letter. But in writing to the pilgrims, it's most probably uh, Jewish Christians from Palestine that you remember when the persecution began, um, Stephen was stoned and a persecution arose and the Christians were dispersed out of Jerusalem. And as a result, uh, they're living in places where it's not their normal place to live. They were under a persecution that was difficult, under a suffering that was difficult. And so Simon Peter addresses that issue and he talks about the blessings of God, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we, we are thankful for him, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And he talks about what God has done for us, what the Father has done, what Christ has done. But here's what he says, verse 7. He says that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it tested by fire, may be found to the praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Well, to be pilgrims reminds us, you say, well, how do I get through the suffering, all right? To be a pilgrim reminds you that this earth is not your permanent home. We are passing through. We God is not intending that this earth that has been touched by sin and all the things that you're facing uh, is is permanent for you. Uh, what we need to do, I don't, I don't want us to get, as I don't remember who coined the phrase, but to be so heavenly minded, we're no earthly good. I, I don't think we need to do that. But we do need to be focused on eternity and be focused on on heaven and recognizing that God has something far better than us. This is a temporary thing. The virus and all of these kind of things, this is all temporary. It's, it's going to go away. Uh, but what we, what time we have here, you say, well, why, why am I being tested? What, what is the point of my suffering? Well, it'll do several things for you. One is it's going to demonstrate or show you the genuine, genuineness of your faith. Uh, it's easy 
to be a champion for Jesus when everything's good. When your bank account's full, when your house is, is uh, warm in winter and cool in summer, uh, when you, you know, when you have a job, when family life is great, uh, you know, just go down the line. When everything's great in our life, all of us are champions for Jesus. Man, it's easy to be a Christian, but it's hard to be a Christian when you suffer. You know, when you are personally sick and going through that, it's tough. When you are being persecuted for your faith, it's tough. And you say, well, why does God do that? God brings those things into our life so that we can learn and evaluate our faith to see the genuineness of our faith. Are you like Simon Peter? That yes, I'll cut off the ear of, of the high priest's servant, you know, when everybody's around, but when I'm by myself and somebody questions me about my faith, do I shrink back? Do I deny Christ? Am I more like the world or am I more like Christ? So I think it gives us ways to, uh, to, to evaluate that. Uh, he uses it to to strengthen our faith. He he tests us to uh, discipline our faith. He tests us to humble us. He says tests us to to purify us. When he says that it's tested by fire, well, uh, gold is put into the fire. What to burn away all of the uh, the chaff or burn away the uh, the metal that's not um, that's not pure, that's not part of the gold, and to get that so that when you're done, you have a a pure block or or pure piece of of uh, of gold. Well, God brings testing into our life, and He brings challenges in our life in order to purify us. And then the last thing He says. He says, to the praise may, may, so that it may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. When you live faithfully, when you stay strong in your faith, at the, at the revelation of Christ, obviously, he's talking about, about his second coming. But it is the fact that throughout your life, when people examine you, when they look at you, and they know that you are a follower of Christ, what do they think? Do they think, man, this is a person that... Uh, not only talks the talk, but man, they walk the walk. They live the life. And when we do that, when we walk that walk, it brings honor and praise and glory to the Father. I told you that we were going to start memorizing uh, passages, so we'll start that on Monday. But let me go ahead and give you the passage we're going to we're going to do. It's going to be First uh, Peter five seven. Since we're looking at First Peter here on Friday, we'll look at that on Monday as our memory verse. But 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. Will you be blessed today? Uh, take time to memorize God's word. Live your life faithfully. Remember the blessings of God. And when you come under suffering, Though the testing is by fire, it's only for a temporary time. And God's going to see you through this. Thanks for watching.